Hello everyone. One. Welcome to the lesson and uh, we will speak about great inventions and different fields of science. Здравствуйте, ребята. Продолжаем работать и сегодня говорим об изобретениях и разных областях науки. Today we are speaking about some great inventions we still use in our everyday life. Look, in the picture, if you open page 42, you can see a strange thing. It is called hot air balloon. Look at the picture and answer the question. What do you know about hot air balloons? Постарайтесь вспомнить все, что вы знаете, может быть, из каких-то книг, из уроков физики, из личного опыта о воздушных шарах. You can stop the video and have a short talk about hot air balloons. For example, I know that it was invented long ago. It was invented before the plane. Maybe you know some other interesting facts. Stop the video and speak. Помните, все, что я прошу проговорить, нужно проговаривать вслух. Well, I hope you remembered something about hot air balloons. Now, let's read the title of the text. Прочтем с вами заголовок текста. Animals in the air. Животные в воздухе. Can you believe that the history of the hot air balloon began with a sheep, a duck and a chicken? Можете поверить в то? что история воздухоплавания началась с барашки, утки и курицы. Try to suppose what the text is about. Вы скажите предположение, о чем текст, который мы будем с вами читать. I think the text is about and give your ideas. So, I think the text is about first animals who traveled in the air and the mean of transport they used. Let's have a look. Here is a text. Page 42, exercise 1. Перед вами текст. Можно работать с экраном, можно работать с учебником. You read and listen to the text. Слушаем. И читаем. Exercise 1, page 42. Animals in the air. Can you believe that the history of the hot air balloon all began with a sheep, a duck and a chicken? One day in 1777, Joseph Montgolfier was relaxing in front of the fire with his laundry drying nearby. After a while, he noticed that one of his shirts had started to float upwards. The young man was curious about what was happening. So he threw some small pieces of paper into the fireplace 
to see if the same thing happened to them. When he saw them coming out of the chimney, he came to the conclusion that smoke had the power to lift things up and carry them through the air. Joseph loved science and wanted to become an inventor. So he started trying to think of a craft that would be able to capture smoke and heat and lift people off the ground. Along with his brother Jacques, he began performing experiments on something that later became the first hot air balloon. The Montgolfier brothers quickly realised that it was heat and not smoke that had the power to lift things. On the 19th of September, 1783, they presented their first hot air balloon, which was made from paper and cloth. They burned some straw underneath it, and the heat helped the balloon to float. As this was its first trip, the Montgolfier brothers were too nervous to go up in the balloon themselves. So instead, they put a sheep, a duck, and a chicken in the basket that hung below the balloon for the two-mile journey. The new invention was a great success, and the animals landed safe and sound. A huge crowd, including some members of the French royal family, gathered to watch the balloon floating high in the sky. Shortly afterwards, the brothers asked the king for permission to send men up in the balloon. The king agreed, and the first flight consisting of human passengers took place in Paris on the 21st of November, 1783, with great success. The balloon reached heights of around 150 metres as it floated over the Paris rooftops, starting a long tradition of hot air ballooning. Now, let's check how well you understood the plot of the text. You have got some statements. Some of them are true, the others are false. Перед вами утверждения, некоторые верные, другие неверные, а некоторых в тексте не было упомянуто. Ваша задача – определить, верные или неверные данные утверждения. You know, true, false, not stated. If you write in your copybooks, you write just one, true, two, false, three, not stated. Don't write in your books. Пожалуйста, учебники новые. В них мы ничего не пишем, никаких отметок не делаем. Полностью предложение писать не нужно, это долго. Ставим цифра и буква, если вам это удобно. So, do the task, stop the video and complete the task. Видео ставим на паузу, выполняем задание. По мере выполнения возвращаемся к видео. Now let's check. Joseph was sleeping when he got the idea for a flying machine. It's false. He was not sleeping. He was sitting by the fire. He loved science more than math. Not stated. We know that he loved science, but we don't know if he loved or hated math. Joseph worked with his brother to create the hot air balloon. It's true, they worked together. They discovered that heat, not smoke, could lift things up. It's true. The first hot air balloon was made from paper and straw. It's false. The first hot air balloon was made from paper and cloth. The basket was made of wood. Not stated. We don't know what the basket was made of. We can suppose that it probably was made of wood, but in the text it was not stated. The animals didn't survive the trip. 
didn't survive, не выжили. It's false. They landed safe and sound. The first flight with human passengers was successful. It's true. If you managed with the task without any mistakes, you are great. Справились без ошибок, молодцы. Сделали ошибки, поправьте. Now, let's have a look at the synonyms from the text. В тексте жирным выделены некоторые слова и словосочетания. Поработаем с синонимами. Подберем синонимы к словам decided, catch, tests, raise, not in danger, showed. Again, stop the video and try to find the synonyms. Снова видео ставим на паузу и подбираем синонимы. Можно выписать пару слов, можно сделать устно, но запомнить. Well, let's check. Decided. Came to the conclusion. Решил, пришел к выводу. Catch. Capture. Tests. Experiments. Raise. Lift. Not in danger. Safe and sound. Showed. Presented. I think you managed. Please learn new words. Новые слова. Пожалуйста, выучите. Now, there were some close synonyms. Перед нами близкие синонимы. Raise, lift, put up. И тем не менее, между этими словами есть разница. Raise – to move something to a higher position. Переместить что-то в более высокое положение. Lift – to take something in your hands and raise it. To move something upwards in the air. Что-то взять в руки и приподнять. Или что-то поднять в воздух. Put up – поднять что-либо в воздух. Learn these words and let's do an exercise. Давайте выполним упражнение. Page 43, exercise 4. На страничке 43, номер 4. Ваша задача вставить слова raise, lift или put up в эти предложения. Stop the video and quickly do the task. Очень быстро выполните это задание. Всего три предложения. Let's check. If you have any questions, please put your hand up. John raised the glass to his lips. This sofa is very heavy. Help me lift it. I hope there were no mistakes. Надеюсь, расправились без ошибок. Working further. In exercise 7, you are to write a letter to your friend and let's read the task. Давайте прочтем задание. You are Joseph Montgolfier. Представьте, что вы Джозеф Монголфьер. King Louis XVI has agreed to the first manned hot air balloon flight. Король Луи XVI согласился на первый полет воздушного шара с человеком на борту. You have got the text. And you are to write a letter to Jean Frank, a friend of yours, explaining what has happened and asking him to take part in the first flight with human passengers. Ваша задача поведать другу о том, 
что произошло, что вы изобрели, и пригласить его стать одним из первых пассажиров в первом полете. У нас есть шаблон. Пользуясь текстом, мы должны его дополнить. Dear Jean Frank, we finally made it. The first. Что первое? Hot air balloon is ready. Первый воздушный шар готов. We made it from... Найдите в тексте, из чего его сделали. From paper and cloth. To make it float, чтобы он взлетел. We burned straw underneath. The first passengers were a sheep, a hen and a duck. You shouldn't be afraid. They landed safe and sound. King Louis the Sixteenth and royal family looked at the first flight and they enjoyed it. The king has agreed to organize the first manned hot air balloon flight. Would you like to take part in this adventure? If yes, we are waiting for you at our residence in Paris. Best regards, Joseph Montgolfier. Вы увидели, я использовала информацию текста, чтобы дополнить это письмо. You will do it by yourself. Попробуйте устно проговорить то, что только что проговорила я. And finally, your homework. А теперь ваше домашнее задание. You do this exercise in written. Вам нужно это письмо теперь написать в своих тетрадях. Будьте внимательны. Мы перешли на новый способ работы, то есть на работу в электронном журнале. Пожалуйста, моя группа присылает работы, пользуясь кнопкой «Сдать». Вы нажимаете «Сдать». Загружаете туда фотографию своей работы и нажимаете ОК. Все, ваша работа отправлена мне. Группа Ирины Геннадьевны, как вы отправляли в Телеграм, так, пожалуйста, и работаем. Если вы отправите через кнопку «Сдать», ничего страшного, работа никуда не пропадет, она будет проверена. Well, people, for today that's all. Goodbye and good luck.